Hi guys, Rich from Rich Mid Gaming. Hope everyone is doing well. A um, little bit of a different video today. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at what is in my mystery box that arrived. Now, I have a number of things on back order um, from various suppliers. I've got some Marvel Crisis Protocol stuff that hasn't turned up yet. I've got some board games that haven't turned up yet. Uh, I've got some Imperial Assault. I am desperately trying to finish off my Imperial Assault uh, expansion collection. Um, so in this video, and I don't know what it is yet either, we're going to take a look at this, see what's inside, and do a quick unboxing. So I'll see you guys back in one second. Right then guys, well like I say, this is a um, a bit of a new video for me, not done anything like this before. I have opened it, but hopefully as you can see, I've not taken out all the packing yet. Um, so I don't know, I don't know what this is. I wasn't at home when this was delivered. I've not checked my email, so I don't know what the, uh, who it is that's delivered it. Uh, I have taken the label off, don't want everyone knowing where I live. But let's open this up and let's see what we've got in here so packing lots of oh there we go there we go oh this is one that um this is one that i have been trying to get hold of for a fair few weeks now uh, so for anyone that's not aware, this is the Bespin Gambit from Imperial Assault. I don't know which number expansion this is. Um, got some beautiful artwork on the box, as always with, with anything FFG. It's always really, really good. Um, I've got all the other characters um, that, that go with this. Um, so what you find with the expansions and in the, the main boxes themselves is... You get some characters, so in this one we can see here we've got 11 plastic miniatures. But then there's some, you know, if we look here, Lando, Calrissian, and there'll be some other ones in here as well, who, um, whilst they're represented in the game, you do get a card, but you get a little token. In fact, we can see that token here. Uh, in fact, you can see Bosk there as well. And again, there'll be a couple of others. Um, so I've got everything else that goes with this, um, but been really really looking forward to uh, to getting my hands on this when I had it pre-ordered it then didn't happen um, the the, the, um, the local store got their delivery and this wasn't part of it um, so I managed then to find it from from somewhere else so let's take and let's take this open let's have a look and let's see what we get inside So as I say, some beautiful artwork like we uh, like we always have from FFG. Let's bob that to the side there. We've got our usual collateral here from FFG. All the various ones. Or oh, a Quest. That's maybe uh, maybe one to look at. I need to I need to stop it. I do need to stop it. I do start looking at these and then, uh, yeah. Anyway, put that to one side. We've got some rule books because what these do is these add uh, these add additional campaigns. You can see we've got our campaign log on the back of there. Uh, this does need the core box to be able to play it. Um, you can't play it. You can't play it separately. Um, tells us all of the components that we've got in there. We'll have a look into them. Um, and then each individual expansion has its own expansion icon. Now that becomes important when we start looking at things like um, the terrain tiles. So in here then you can see we've got a skirmish map sheet. Again, a lot of the characters and a lot of the expansions come with some additional skirmish maps. And here we go, look, this then outlines um, the various... Uh, different figures that we can purchase that are represented in this game. So Bosk, Lando Calrissian, 
Agent Blaze, who is an ISB interrogator, and then just some ISB interrogators there as well. Um, managed to pick up all of these from various stores over the last couple of months. These little stickers, we use these to, or some people use these to differentiate uh, between various um, various units. Um, so let's take a look at the heroes that we get in this box then. So I believe three new heroes. Let's just get this out of the way a second. So three new heroes. Is it three? Two new heroes. Two new heroes. And let's just zoom in ever so slightly on these. So the first one, and I forget the uh, the names of the race of these guys. I'll check it out and put it in the post edit. Um, but this is Mern Rin. So 12 health, 4 endurance, 4 speed, 1 black defense dice. And they've then got to the ability false hoarders. So choose a hostile figure with a figure cost equal to or less than the threat level within three spaces. Okay, so that's the current threat level of the objective that you that we're running. Uh, perform an attack with that figure. Okay, so a bit of mind control going on there as well. This is the mini that represents him. Um, looks interesting. I've I've not played. Uh, I've only played with characters from the uh, core box at the moment. I'm still playing through with a couple of a couple of friends, um, but yeah, haven't uh, haven't played with any of the extra ones yet. So they look really interesting, and oh, you know me, you know me. I, I love I love to see a Jedi. I do love to see a Jedi. Um, so this is Davith Elsa. Davith Elsa, sorry, code name Hawkbat. Um, he got the abilities of cloak and dagger. So while attacking with a melee weapon, you gain uh, hide. Okay, so gain search to hide. Four speed. So using one, uh, use during your activation to move up to two spaces. Limit once per activation. That's pretty cool. Giving us some extra movement. We've got health 11, endurance 4, speed 4, and defense white. Um, pretty pretty standard. We didn't check the back, actually. Let's check the back. So he does lose, by the looks of it. He loses 1 speed, 1 endurance. Yep. And then does lose the 4 speed ability as well. And then this is the mini that he is represented with let's just quickly have a look at moon rin just have a look at their backside or the flip side of their card i should say um so what is it we're losing there we are losing the figurehead ability and again we lose one endurance and one speed brilliant so some really nice um Interesting characters there, quite unique as well, especially with the, um, especially with that piece uh, on the sort of mind control. These are then the other miniatures that we get. So let's have a quick look then. Let's see if we can try and work out who these are. Okay, these look like um, I don't know if they're called Ugnots. Uh, again, I've not got. I've not got it to hand, but in fact, what we can do, if we just zoom back out, he says, there we go. Zoom back out ever so slightly. Oh, there we go, don't see my messy floor. Let's go back into the box and we will get the cards for the other characters as well. Um, I always check in these boxes. I always check down there. And the reason why is Marvel Crisis Protocol, when I bought that, I thought I had half of my contents missing and they'd, they'd put them down in the sides there. Um, so just uh, just always uh, always make sure you 
you take a look. So we've got obviously some new upgrade cards, some new ability cards that we can add in to our decks. Pretty cool, some droids in there, some more weapons. Um, a, no, a nice lightsaber, a really cool looking lightsaber. So one green, one yellow. PS3 plus one plus one plus two but can only be used while hidden. Okay, so that's quite nice. So if we got, so if we look at this potential lightsaber for Davith, and then look at his cards, this is what I really like about these games. Is so we can see here, we have the ability to hide. The shrouded lightsaber does have a surge to plus two hit, but you can only use whilst hidden to so some really nice synergy there between uh, between them um, so they look pretty good um, and again if we see on this card here we can see the, that little little symbol there Bespin lets us know that this is from this expansion just in case you do get them mixed up so some pretty cool cards, um, some weapons that we've seen before, I believe, some upgrade cards as well, that's pretty cool, sniper scope, uh, I'm just, seeing, just trying to see, nope, so there's nothing in there that tells us who these guys are, let's then look at the main card deck, and as always with all of these from FFG, the quality of them is really, really good. Manning Carbonite, Strategic Reserves. So some uh, some various cards there. So, so or some various mission cards even. So uh, Agent Blaze. So these are uh, so I mentioned there, didn't I? That um, we get cards for characters that are then represented by tokens, and we'll find the tokens somewhere within these various things. So we've got Agent Blades, Wingard. Okay, so it looks like these guys are the Wingard. So there is two of them, two different types. We've got our normal and then we've got our um, elite ones. Uh, they use the same models. Um, look a little bit like the fleet troopers, very, very sim, very, very similar pose. Um, <clears throat> do I have fleet troopers next to me? No, I don't, so I won't get them. But they do look really, really similar. We get four figures in total. What I like to do with these is I will paint them up slightly differently, and I'll give one of them a red rim base and the other one a black rim base, and then that helps me differentiate in the game uh, who. Uh, when I'm putting in elite and when I'm putting in non-elite. So that's cool. Always nice to get some new some new characters. And yes, they are the Ugnaughts. I thought they were. So again, Ugnaught Tinkerers, we've got two different uh, two different types of card here. Uh, we've got the normal and the elite. And there are I'm just having a quick look. So it looks like these are individual characters by the looks of it. Um so again, what I would do with these, because there's three of them there, look, um, what I would do is paint them up and I would paint up two of them to hot up. Oh, we get six of these, sorry. Oh, we get six of the um, six of the wing guards. So I'd do two lots black and then one lot red. Some of these guys, I would do um, one red to represent the elite and I will do uh, two of them black. Uh, in the game, um, whether it's using the app or whether it's playing it in person, you can only play for the number of cards that you've got, so you'll never be able to have more than one elite or more than two normal in uh, any one game at any time. Uh, other cards that we've got then, and we kind of, bit of a spoiler when we looked at them before, so we've got Bosk, um, we've got Lander, and then obviously we've got uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for the skirmish side there as well. So... Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's have a look at some of the let's have a look at some of the maps. He says.
Now my plan was originally, um, before I started doing this YouTube channel, I was going to do some of these on Twitch, but there's not really much, you know, much of an unboxing thing on Twitch. Uh, and now we've moved over to YouTube. So that's pretty cool. Um, as always with these, I think with, with these sorts of games in general, they are double-sided, which is nice. Um, each piece, each map piece, so if we just zoom in a little bit there, has its own uh, unique number, unique letter. Well, first of all, we've got our unique symbol, which tells us it's from the Bespin Gambit. Unique number, which tells us um, what map piece it is, and, and then a unique letter. So if we look on the other side, then that will be the same, same symbol, same number, and then the letter B. So really, really nice artwork. Um, you just pop these out. Again, we've got those little tokens to show the various characters, sorry, to show the various different units. Um, what have we got in here then? Yeah, so we've got Lando, we've got Bosk, and we've got Agent Blaze. Have we got anything else on that one? No, not too much on that one. Damage tokens and everything else on there, and then we've got some of the droids that we uh, that we saw the cards for. So yeah, there we go. I'll see you back at the desk. Right, guys. Well, that was about thirty minutes for me. Uh, it might look like it was just instant, but yeah, packed away the box. Found the uh, the miniatures uh, that we that we saw the sort of. Um, extra ones that are tokens in the game but we've got miniature for them here just so you can see what they look like as well um, obviously packed up the box and everything else so yeah um, Best Pin Gambit looks really really good uh, like I say it's, it's an expansion I've been looking for um, for a while um, I think the two new characters so you've got Moon Rin uh, and we've got Davith Elsa um, look really really good uh, look like they're really really interested. Mern Rin with some, you know, really uh, as soon as I sort of that, that control thing in my head I'm going it's like a shadow priest from World of Warcraft almost. Uh, but yeah really really looking forward to um, getting these painted up. It goes into the backlog unfortunately. I've got plenty at the moment as you can see here that is is needing some love and attention. Um, and my plan with these is to eventually play through every single expansion um and and make a video on them um so then let's just quickly look uh, we mentioned a couple so we've got two isb agents these aren't going to look the best on here but we'll just show you them there so a couple of isb agents you can see that they've already been primed uh prepped with the zenith for highlight and that sort of thing as well uh we've got agent blaze i think his name is that's his character there that he's represented with so um looks okay not a huge fan of that that particular pose um but one that i am a massive fan of is uh, is this guy here uh, i think i think he looks super super good if i'm going to put a picture of him in um here post edit um just so you can see what he looks like i think lando looks really really good um so i've obviously not managed to play it yet um but I'm super super excited. Um, these guys have not let me down yet. I've enjoyed every single game I've played. I played a couple on my Twitch. I'm playing a full campaign with a few friends at the moment and have not been uh, disappointed once yet. I think the stories are really really good. The characters they've got there are amazing. Um, I like that they are set within um, the world surrounded by characters we know but then with some some new characters in there. I know those that saw my Bear of War video on Lord of the Rings. Different reasons. I don't mind them introducing new characters into this. If it makes, you know, if it makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited, looking forward to it. But guys, let me know down in the comments. Have you played Imperial Assault? Um, have you played Best in, Best in Gambit? Is it a game that you've already played? Have you struggled to get hold of... Uh, Imperial Assault stuff. I think most of it is now out of print or is coming out of print. Um, so not much time to go and grab it. But yeah, um, leave leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, if you can, like the video. If you like this format, it's something a little bit different we haven't done before. Um, any feedback, comments, always welcome. And with that, as always, guys, stay well, keep safe, and I will catch you next time.